Hello, baby. Yeah, today. I know, before y'all even say anything, I get asked about this a lot. And I've done a couple of uh, videos, but today we're going to have a serious discussion. A serious discussion. About the apocalypse. And what's going to happen. Tigers versus zombies. So stick around. Welcome to the Freaks! Yeah! I know I said it's gonna be serious, but my son said I need to put more graphics up, and I found this, and it's under Creative Commons, so I can't help myself. Okay, so anyway. What we're going to talk about today. Bikers versus zombies. Do, 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 do. Let's, let's get serious now. Bikers versus zombies. What's the first thing going to happen when the SHTF? Yeah, the poop hits the fan. Boom! Let's say it's... Actual zombies do come. There's a medical outbreak, a pandemic as they call it, and uh, all of a sudden the world turns upside down. There's dead roaming the earth. Let's say there's a nuclear blast in my some crazy way. The nuclear blast is what causes the dead to walk the earth. It says in all kind of prophecies, when hell is full, dead shall walk the earth. And, uh, you know, I've got a dog named Bear instead of me. He's named after the voodoo deity. Uh, Baron instead of me, or Baron Saturday. Which says that if you do not appease him, he will leave you here and then practice the voodoo and bring you back alive. And that's what the zombies are based on. So, when we say zombies, we're not just talking about them walking dead creatures or, you know, some of the things you said in the movie. Let's put zombies in their whole own category. Zombies are going to be people who have no food, no shelter, no weapons. You know, they might be dead, but even if they're not, they're going to be dead. Think about uh, a, a meth head who's been on a, a year long week you know they got to have stuff they got to they're gonna come in whether it's taking your life or taking your food or taking whatever that's gonna be how we find this zombie you know and will they bite you and turn you into a zombie or get you addicted to drugs or take all your food so that you're out here scrummaging around looking for your own food if they're around and attacking you cannot defend yourself you're gonna be a zombie too so there's the zombie part of this now, let's talk about if, you know, it does hit the fan. You know, bikers are a community. They are. Um, they have really strong ties, whether it's to an MC or to the family or to the military or to, you know. So they're probably going to be one of the ones on the forefront. I don't think it's going to be like anybody thinks. So first of all, when you're in a situation like that, you're going to want to cover and conceal. And I talk about cover and conceal. You're not going to want everybody to know that you have food, that you're even alive, that you even exist. If people don't know what you have, they can't take it. If people don't know that you're there, they can't attack you. Whether it be the zombies or whatever. You start up a Harley, they're going to know you're there. You know, you start up a loud truck, they're going to know you're there. You start letting off shotguns and everything else, they're going to know you're there. So a lot of the, the combat's going to be hand-to-hand. -hand. Hmm, yeah. You can stock up on all them guns you want because when you run out of bullets, them guns ain't going to do you no good, first of all. Second of all, as soon as you start letting off round after round after round, you're not only going to get my attention and everybody else, including the bikers and the anarchists and everybody else's attention, you won't get the government's attention. And if you really think when the shit hits the fan, the government's going down, have you not seen 
you know, NORAD and all these things. The president's gonna be underground somewhere. And there's gonna be martial law. The government has a plan. I mean, if you look up some of the, the theories and stuff, even on here on YouTube, the government's gonna have a plan. You will be paying taxes. And when you can't pay taxes, because there ain't gonna be no barter system, ain't gonna be no money no more, they're gonna make you work in a labor camp pretty much. You're going to be their mule to be with the state. And the government, more than likely, uh, you know, every scenario that they run, even on September 11th, has not worked. It's failed in some degree or another. So more than likely what they're going to do is they're going to go to their little hideout and just let everybody kill everybody for a little while until, you know, they decide exactly what they're going to do. And then they're going to bring back their democracy. And then all of a sudden you're going to pay taxes. And then you have to be a worker. So the best thing to do in this situation is probably going to be cover and conceal. And a lot of bikers are ex-military, so they know this. You know, I ain't worried about stocking up on guns. I've got, I've got weapons. I've got weapons you can't imagine. And if it comes down to it, I'll do what I have to do. And I'm probably going to take your weapon. Just the basic facts about it, man. You only got so many bullets, and. You don't know hand to hand like most of us do. And even if you do, you gonna know covering the seal, so I ain't gonna see you, and you ain't gonna have to worry about me. I ain't gonna have to worry about you. Therefore, I'm neither a zombie, neither are you. And then in the long run, it might break down to a battle of civilians versus martial law government. Never know. What I think will happen is the bikers will set back, and you know, water. A lot of outlaw bikers deal in illegal things, so the 1% clubs and stuff, this is going to benefit them greatly. At first. At first. Not all, not all the way through, man. Because what's going to happen is they're going to start tearing each other. Especially some of the ones that's known for, you know, the drugs and running guns. Because, like I said, they'll, they'll run out, and whenever they run out of food, they're going to be like Negan on the walking dead. They're going to come out and try to take your food. So what are you going to do? You know, even in society the day we are, you can't face a 1% of just you and two or three of your buddies. You can't face a 1% motorcycle club. So they're going to, I mean, it's going to be hectic at first. And I truly think the government will probably be looking to use, utilize them to control the population. Thinking the government will be able to step in wherever it decides to and it's to to take out the gangs and the clubs and the groups that acquire around themselves when everything hits the fan. So, Bikers versus Zombie, who's going to win? I don't know. It's the apocalypse, you know, everybody goes, oh my, it's the end of the world. If you look through actual, you know, linguistics and different languages and different properties and stuff, the apocalypse is not the end. It's the beginning of something new. Now, the way that we get there, well, that's the road, road must travel. I know, you know, a lot of people tell you these prayers stuff hide. You know, I tell everybody, they say, well, how do I learn to fight? learn to uh, duck. How did I learn to survive? Learn to hide. Uh, you know, some of the best guys I was in the military with was the ones that was really good at hiding. That was their survival. Whenever you they teach you survival training, that's one of the things they teach you hide. The enemy don't know you're there and they can't find you. They can't kill you. They can't torture you for information. Hide. Cover. Conceal. Hide. As far as food goes, you don't have to I'm some way of eating yourself. Like I said, at first, the different groups are going to quick up and they're going to go out and they're going to start pretty much savaging and ravaging and eventually they are going to become the zombies. For me, I think the true bikers that have the dedication, the passion, you know, the intelligence, we're going to hide and we'll wait until everything calms down. Uh, if it's a nuclear blast, you know, we're not going to have no radiation. There ain't going to be a lot of herbs and gardens and food. So you're going to have to go physically and look for things. You know, you're going to have to 
be salvaged. You're gonna have to hope you can go into somebody's house that's you know, laying there dead, you know, and see what you can get and hope that nobody's been there before and they have some things in their cabinet. You might get lucky and run across a prepper that's passed away. You know, then you gotta think, if you found there, somebody behind you, it's gonna be one of those things you gotta keep moving, but you gotta stay hidden. You know, so, and then, I mean, you're not gonna be on a motorcycle. Or, oh, yeah, maybe at first, but what are you gonna do after the first year or so when all the gas comes up? Hmm. How are you gonna heat yourself? I talk about cowboy camping and cooking out. Yeah. How are you gonna heat yourself? How are you gonna keep yourself warm? If a nuclear holocaust comes, there's gonna be a nuclear winter. How are you gonna not freeze to death? How are you going to be? Are you going to become a cannibal? So when it comes to bikers versus zombies, that's a hard decision what's going to happen. Everything you can imagine is probably going to happen. And everything you have nightmares about is probably going to happen. You go, I'm going to kill me some zombies. No, you're not. You can't even kill a freaking fly or a spider how are you gonna kill a zombie and it ain't as easy as what you think because you're gonna look at somebody and you're gonna see a person and it's gonna take you changing your mindset just like everything else in our modern society you have to change your mindset just like whenever they said oh you got three weeks to live no I don't I change my mindset mind over matter you know I tell everybody waste not won't not mind over matter I'm full of these little cliches but you're going to have to change your mindset. You're going to have to say, yo, I'm going to survive and I'm going to do what I need to for my family to survive. And one of the biggest things is going to be hiding out. You can rev that Harley up and you can shoot them guns. Somebody's going to hear you. They're going to come to your cookies. But just remember, the dark side has cookies. You know why the dark side has cookies? Because we're willing to whoop your ass and take them. Think about that. So anyway, until next time, Y'all have an awesome day. Like and subscribe so you can get more free going. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.